Tranquil. Tranquil. Quiet and peaceful. She led a tranquil life in the country. Transient. Transient. Continuing for only a short time. The transient nature of high fashion. Tremulous. Tremulous. Shaking slightly because you are nervous. He was in a state of tremulous excitement. Trenchant. Trenchant. Of criticism, remarks, etc., expressed strongly and effectively in a clear way. His comment was trenchant and perceptive. Truncate. Truncate. The verb truncate means to cut off or shorten. My article was published in truncated form. Turbulent. Turbulent. Turbulent means chaotic, disordered, characterized by conflict. A time of war is a turbulent time for a country. Turpitude. Turpitude. Turpitude is very immoral behavior. Prisons are filled with criminals who have engaged in acts of moral turpitude. Tussle. Tussle. A tussle is a rowdy fight or short struggle to get something. Two players were ejected after a tussle on the field. Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. Seeming to be everywhere or in several places at the same time, very common. Sugar is ubiquitous in the diet. Umbrage. Umbrage. Feel offended, hurt or upset by something. He took umbrage at her remarks. Unabated. Unabated. Continuing without any reduction in intensity or amount. The fighting has continued unabated for over 24 hours. Unconscionable. Unconscionable. So bad, immoral, etc. that it should make you feel ashamed. It would be unconscionable for her to keep the money. Unctuous. Unctuous. Seem to be full of praise, kindness, but are obviously insincere. Was annoyed by the unctuous waiter. Underwrite. Underwrite. To underwrite is to ensure or promise to be financially responsible in case of loss or damage. National banks can package their own mortgages and underwrite them as securities. Unkempt. Unkempt. Not neat or tidy. Her hair was unkempt and filthy. Unmitigated. Unmitigated. To emphasize that is a bad situation or quality is totally bad. This sandwich is an unmitigated disaster. Unsavory. Unsavory. To be unappetizing, tasteless, or morally offensive. Her friends are all pretty unsavored characters. Unwieldy. Unwieldy. Difficult to move or control because of its size, shape, or weight. The first mechanical clocks were large and rather unwieldy. Urbane. Urbane. Someone who is urbane is polite and appears comfortable in social situations. She describes him as urbane and charming. Usurp. Usurp. To take somebody's position or power without having the right to do this. She is scheming to take my place and usurp my power. Utopia. Utopia. An imaginary place or state in which everything is perfect. We weren't out to design a contemporary utopia. Vacillate. Vacillate. Vacillate means to waver back and forth, unable to decide. The country's leaders are still vacillating between confrontation and compromise. Valor. Valor. Valor is great bravery, especially in battle. He also displayed great valor in the field. Vapid, vapid. Not showing interest or intelligence. She made a vapid comment about the weather. Veneer. Veneer. Something that hides something unpleasant or unwanted. He was able to fool the world with his veneer of education. Venerable. Venerable. Venerable people or things deserve respect because they are old, important, wise. 
The president was a venerable old man with white hair and a gracious manner. Venial. Venial. Of a sin or mistake, not very serious and therefore able to be forgiven. Venial sin or mortal sin. Vertigo. Vertigo. The feeling of dizziness and fear when you look down from a high place. A fear of heights, the medical word used for this is vertigo. Vestige. Vestige. A small part of something that still exists after the rest of it has stopped existing. There's not a vestige of truth in the rumor. Vexatious. Vexatious. Making you feel upset or annoyed. No more vexatious teachers, stressful tests, and no more school. Vicissitude. Vicissitude. One of the many changes and problems in a situation or in your life that you have to deal with. No one can escape the vicissitudes of life. Vigilant. Vigilant. Be careful to notice any signs of danger or trouble. You need to be vigilant against garden pests. Vilify. Vilify. To say or write unpleasant things about somebody or something so that other people will have a low opinion of them. A campaign was mounted to vilify the leaders of the organization. Vindicate. Vindicate. To prove that something is true after people have said that they were wrong. I have every confidence that this decision will be fully vindicated. Virile. Virile. Of men, strong and full of energy, especially sexual energy. A man is virile only when he is belligerent. Virtuosity. Virtuosity. A very high degree of skill in performing or playing. In the 1960s, his violin virtuosity inspired a generation. Virulent. Virulent. Of a disease or poison, extremely dangerous, harmful and quick to have an effect. Feelings or actions are extremely bitter and hostile. A very virulent form of the disease appeared in Belgium. Now he faces virulent attacks from the Italian media. Vitiate. Vitiate. To destroy, contaminate, spoil or reduce the effect of something. Don't vitiate that drink with water. Vitriolic. Vitriolic. Of language or comments, full of anger and hate. The newspaper launched a vitriolic attack on the president. Vituperation. Vituperation. Cruel and angry criticism. She was unprepared for the flood of vituperation which descended on her from her critics. Vogue. Vogue. A fashion for something. This style had a great vogue ten years ago. Volition. Volition. Your volition is the power you have to decide something for yourself. She said he had gone to the police of his own volition. Voluble. Voluble. Talking a lot, and with enthusiasm, about a subject. Evelyn was very voluble on the subject of women's rights. Voluminous. Voluminous. Something that is voluminous is very large or contains a lot of things. In these near years, the voluminous style has come back in the fashion world. Voracious. Voracious. Wanting a lot of something. Joseph Smith was a voracious book collector. Wan. Wan. Looking pale and weak. She looked wan and tired. Wayne. Wayne. To become gradually weaker or less important. Her enthusiasm for the whole idea was waning rapidly. Wheedle. Wheedle. To wheedle is to sweet talk or flatter someone in the hopes of getting something in return. The kids can always wheedle money out of their father. She wheedled me into lending her my new coat. Wet. Wet. To wet something is to increase your desire for or interest in something. The book will whet your appetite for more of her work. Whimsical. Whimsical. Unusual and not serious in a way that is either funny or annoying. 
Much of his photography has a whimsical pose. Wince. Wince. An expression on your face that shows that you are embarrassed or feeling pain. He smiled, but it might as well have been a wince. Wistful. Wistful. Someone who is wistful is sad because they want something and know that they cannot have it. There was something rather wistful about the dog's face. Yen. Yen. A strong desire. I've always had a yen to travel around the world. Zealous. Zealous. Showing great energy and enthusiasm for something, especially because you feel strongly about it. She was a zealous worker for charity. Thwart. Thwart. To prevent somebody from doing what they want to do. The security forces were doing all they could to thwart terrorists. Timorous. Timorous. Feel frightened and nervous of other people and situations. She is as timorous as a rabbit. Tinge. Tinge. A tinge of a color, feeling, or quality is a small amount of it. His skin had an unhealthy grayish tinge. Torturous. Torturous. Tortuous means twisting or complicated. Life is but a hard and tortuous journey. Terse. Terse. A terse statement or comment is brief and unfriendly. It's too late, he said tersely. Throng. Throng. A throng is a large crowd of people. An official pushed through the throng. Skirmish. Skirmish. A skirmish is a small fight. Several people were killed in skirmishes during the night. Slovenly. Slovenly. Slovenly people are careless, untidy or dirty in appearance or habits. He grew lazy and slovenly in his habits. Sojourn. Sojourn. A sojourn is a short stay in a place that is not your home. What incredible damage did he do to my cave during his brief sojourn there? Soulless. Soulless. To make somebody feel better or happier when they are sad or disappointed. I found solace in writing when my father died three years ago. Solicit. Solicit. Solicit means to ask for or persuade. They were planning to solicit funds from a number of organizations. Somber. Somber. If someone is somber, they are serious or sad. Somber colors and places are dark and dull. She cried as she described the somber mood of her coworkers. Sophistry. Sophistry. Sophistry is tricking someone by making a seemingly clever argument. As he had a weak case and could not defend himself, he had to resort to sophistry. Sorted. Sorted. For someone, not moral or honest, for a place, very dirty and unpleasant. It was a shock to discover the truth about his sordid past. Spate. Spate. A spate of things is a large number of things, which are usually unpleasant, that happen suddenly within a short period of time. After heavy rain, the river was in spate. Spew. Spew. To spew is to forcefully expel something or to vomit. Volcano spews hot lava when it erupts. Sporadic. Sporadic. Sporadic occurrences of something happen at irregular intervals. The mail carrier comes every day but the plumber's visits are sporadic. Spurious. Spurious. Something that is spurious seems to be genuine, but is false. He was arrested in 1979 on spurious corruption charges. Squeamish. Squeamish. If you are squeamish, you are easily upset by unpleasant sights or situations. I'm terribly squeamish. I can't bear gory films. Stagnant. Stagnant. Stagnant water or air is not moving and therefore smells unpleasant. Business or society is stagnant, there is little activity or change. 
He is seeking advice on how to revive the stagnant economy. Staunch. Staunch. To stop the flow of something, especially blood. They could be a vital component in stanching the spread of the virus. Stentorian. Stentorian. A stentorian voice is very loud and strong. She bellowed in a stentorian voice. Stigmatize. Stigmatize. If you stigmatize someone, you have given that person a label. Children in single parent families must not be stigmatized. Stipulate. Stipulate. To stipulate something means to demand that it be part of an agreement. PayPal policies stipulate that sellers must prove buyers received an item. Strident. Strident. Something that's strident is loud, grating, and obnoxious. He is a strident advocate of nuclear power. Stunted. Stunted. If something is stunted, it's been prevented from growing or developing to its full potential. After a hot, dry summer, there's nothing left in your vegetable garden but a few stunted tomato plants. Stupor. Stupor. Someone who is in a stupor is almost unconscious and is unable to act or think normally, especially as a result of drink or drugs. He fell back onto the sofa in a drunken stupor. Stymie. Stymie. The verb stymie means to obstruct or hinder. Financial difficulties have stymied the company's growth. Subjugate. Subjugate. If someone subjugates a group of people, they take complete control of them, especially by defeating them in a war. Her personal ambitions had been subjugated to the needs of her family. Subservient. Subservient. If you are subservient, you do whatever someone wants you to do. If you treat one thing as subservient to another, you treat it as less important than the other thing. Her willingness to be subservient to her children isolated her. Substantiate. Substantiate. To substantiate is to provide information or evidence to prove that something is true. They made accusations which could not be substantiated. Subterfuge. Subterfuge. Subterfuge is a trick or a dishonest way of getting what you want. Journalists often use subterfuge to obtain material for stories. Subterranean. Subterranean. A subterranean river or tunnel is under the ground. The city has nine miles of such subterranean passages. Succinct. Succinct. Something that is succinct is short and clear. The book gives an admirably succinct account of the technology and its history. Succulent. Succulent. Succulent means juicy and is often used to describe food. Cook pieces of succulent chicken with ample garlic and a little sherry. Succumb. Succumb. Use the verb succumb to say that someone yields to something they've tried to fight off, such as despair, temptation, disease or injury. Don't succumb to the temptation to have just one cigarette. Sullen. Sullen. Someone who is sullen is bad-tempered and does not speak much. Alex looked pale and sullen. Sultry. Sultry. Sultry weather is hot and damp. Someone who is sultry is sexually attractive. The outside air was heavy and moist and sultry. Sumptuous. Sumptuous. Something that is sumptuous is grand and obviously very expensive. We dined in sumptuous surroundings. Superficial. Superficial. If you're judging a book by its cover, you're being superficial. The book shows only a superficial understanding of the historical context. Superfluous. Superfluous. Something that is superfluous is unnecessary or is no longer needed. She gave him a look that made words superfluous. Supine. Supine. If you are supine, you are lying flat on your back. Or not willing to act or disagree with somebody because you are lazy or morally weak.
Claire remained supine, her eyes closed. Supplication. Supplication. A supplication is a prayer to God or a respectful request to someone in authority for help. He raised his arms in a gesture of supplication. Surfeit, surfeit. A surfeit of something is an amount which is too large. Indigestion can be brought on by a surfeit of rich food. Surmise, surmise. To guess or suppose something using the evidence you have, without definitely knowing. There's so little to go on, we can only surmise what happened. Surreptitious, surreptitious. A surreptitious action is done secretly. She sneaked a surreptitious glance at her watch. Symptomatic, symptomatic. Anything symptomatic relates to the symptoms of a disease. The city's problems are symptomatic of the crisis that is spreading throughout the country. Taboo. Taboo. Something considered taboo is naughty, something society considers a no no. It is taboo to ask people how much money they earn. Tacit. Tacit. Something tacit is implied or understood without question. Holding hands might be a tacit acknowledgement that a boy and girl are dating. Taint. Taint. Taint means to contaminate. The administration was tainted with scandal. Tangible. Tangible. If something is tangible, it is clear enough or definite enough to be easily seen, felt, or noticed. We cannot accept his findings without tangible evidence. Tantalize. Tantalize. To tantalize someone means to make you want something that you cannot have or do. Give the dog the bone don't tantalize him. Tantamount. Tantamount. When something is tantamount to another thing it is essentially its equivalent. For some animal activists, wearing fur is tantamount to murder. Taut. Taut. Something that is taut is stretched very tight. If someone has a taut expression, they look very worried and tense. Ben sat up quickly, his face taut and terrified. Temerity. Temerity. Use the noun temerity to mean the quality of being unafraid of danger or punishment. He had the temerity to call me a liar. Tenable. Tenable. Easy to defend against attack or criticism. The lectureship is tenable for a period of three years. Termagant. Termagant. Termagant is an insulting name for a woman who likes to nag, scold, or complain. Tigress might have been a termagant, but without her what home could he have? Redolent. Redolent. If something is redolent of something else, it has features that make you think of that other thing. He had a shifty eye redolent of years of lying and petty crime. Redress. Redress. The verb redress is used when you are supposed to fix a problem and make amends. You want your parents to redress the fact that you don't have a pet. Relegate. Relegate. Relegate means to assign to a lower position. She was then relegated to the role of assistant. Remiss. Remiss. If someone is remiss, they are careless about doing things that ought to be done. She had clearly been remiss in her duty. Remuneration. Remuneration. An amount of money that is paid to somebody for the work they have done. May I ask about the remuneration? Repent. Repent. The verb repent means to feel sorry for something you've done. I was shown that I am a sinner, that I needed to repent of my sins. Repertoire. Repertoire. A performer's repertoire is all the plays or pieces of music that he or she has learned and can perform. A chef's repertoire is what he knows how to cook. Replete. Replete. Replete means full, often in a satisfying way. The library was replete with bound first editions. Repose. Repose. Repose is a state in which you are resting and feeling calm. He had a still, almost blank face in repose. Reprehensible. 
Reprehensible. Reprehensible means deserving of blame or strong criticism. He said the violence by anti government protesters was reprehensible. Repress. Repress. Having an effort not to show feeling or be restricted by other. For years he had successfully repressed the painful memories of childhood. Reprimand. Reprimand. If you're reprimanded, someone in authority speaks to you in an angry way because you've done something wrong. You might reprimand your dog if he steals your hot dog. Reproach. Reproach. Reproach means to mildly criticize. You've no reason to reproach yourself, no reason to feel shame. Repudiate. Repudiate. To repudiate something is to reject it, or to refuse to accept or support it. He would repudiate all debts incurred by his son. Repugnant. Repugnant. If you think that something is horrible and disgusting, you can say that it is repugnant. The idea of eating meat was repugnant to her. Repulse. Repulse. To repulse means to repel or drive back or disgust. The armed forces were prepared to repulse any attacks. Repute. Repute. A person of great repute is someone who's widely known and highly respected. Under his leadership, the UN's repute has risen immeasurably. Requisite. Requisite. Requisite is a formal or fancy word for indispensable. A university degree has become a requisite for entry into most professions. Respite. Respite. A respite is a break from something that's difficult or unpleasant. There was no respite from the suffocating heat. Reticent. Reticent. Reticent means either quiet or restrained. She is so reticent about her achievements. Retort. Retort. A retort is a short, clever response to someone's comment or question. You can't smoke in here, Shaw said. Don't worry, it's not tobacco, he retorted. Reverberate. Reverberate. Reverberate means to echo or having a powerful effect that lasts a long time. The controversy continues to reverberate around the country. Revere. Revere. If you revere someone or something, you respect and admire them greatly. The Chinese revered corn as a gift from heaven. Revert. Revert. To revert means to return or to go back. When the lease ends, the property reverts to the owner. Revile. Revile. To criticize somebody or something in a way that shows how much you dislike them. The tramp reviles the man who drive him off. Rhetoric. Rhetoric. Rhetoric is speaking or writing that's intended to persuade. His rhetoric sounds like the death rattle of a fading leadership. Rift. Rift. Rift sounds like rip, and it's helpful to think of it that way. The interview reflected a growing rift between the president and Congress. Romp. Romp. To romp is to play or cavort. On a busy day at a playground, you can watch happy kids romp. Roster. Roster. A roster is a list which gives details of the order in which different people have to do a particular job. If you see your name on the roster of players for the new softball team, then congratulations. Rudimentary. Rudimentary. Rudimentary means basic, or at a very early stage. He had only a rudimentary knowledge of French. Rue. Rue. To rue is to feel regret or remorse for something. You'll live to rue the day you said that to me, my girl. Ruminate. Ruminate. If you ruminate on something, you think about it very carefully. He ruminated on the terrible wastefulness that typified American life. Saga. Saga. A saga is a long story, account, or sequence of events. One sat quietly through the telling of the saga. Sage. Sage. Use the word sage for someone or something wise and judicious.
Thanks to the sage advice of your friend, you didn't write your teacher an angry email. Salient. Salient. The salient points or facts of a situation are the most important ones. In many cases, goals have economic rewards that make them more salient or powerful. Sally. Sally. A remark that is intended to entertain somebody. Or a sudden attack by an enemy. Everyone waited for his next Sally. Salubrious. Salubrious. A place that is salubrious is pleasant and healthy. Other employers have resorted to less salubrious solutions. Salvation. Salvation. Salvation is the act of saving from sin or evil. The church's message of salvation has changed the lives of many. Sanction. Sanction. To sanction means to approve of something or to punish or speak harshly. The government refused to sanction a further cut in interest rates. Sanguine. Sanguine. To be cheerful and confident what will happen in the way you want. He's remarkably sanguine about the problems involved. Satiety. Satiety. The noun satiety means a state of fullness. Eating a huge, delicious meal will give you a satisfying feeling of satiety. Schism. Schism. A schism means to divide into two groups as a result of differences in thinking and beliefs. The church seems to be on the brink of schism. Scion. Scion. A scion of a rich or famous family is one of its younger or more recent members. Nabokov was the scion of an aristocratic family. Scoff. Scoff. To laugh at someone with scorn is to scoff at them. At first I scoffed at the notion. Scrutinize. Scrutinize. To scrutinize means to examine very carefully, often to find out something. Her purpose was to scrutinize his features to see if he was an honest man. Scurrilous. Scurrilous. If something is scurrilous, it's meant to offend. Scurrilous and untrue stories were being invented. Scurry. Scurry. To scurry means to move quickly and hurriedly, especially because to be frightened. The attack began, sending residents scurrying for cover. Sedate. Sedate. To be sedate means to be calm, quiet and rather dignified, though perhaps a bit dull. Her life was sedate, almost mundane. Sedentary. Sedentary. To sits down a lot of the time and does not do much exercise. People suffer from obesity because of sedentary jobs or lifestyles. Senile. Senile. To become confused, can no longer remember things, and are unable to take care of themselves. The old man was forced to resign after showing unmistakable signs of senility. Serenity. Serenity. Use serenity to mean the quality or state of being calm and peaceful. The hotel offers a haven of peace and serenity away from the bustle of the city. Servile. Servile. Wanting too much to please somebody and obey them. Parents have no right to demand servile obedience from their children. Shibboleth. Shibboleth. An old idea, principle or phrase that is no longer accepted by many people. Notice that in each case the objection is based on a shibboleth. Sinecure. Sinecure. A job that you are paid for even though it involves little or no work. This is hardly a sinecure. Singular. Singular. If something is extraordinary, remarkable, or one of a kind, you can say it is singular. A singular opportunity to sing on stage with a rock star is a remarkable opportunity. Sanctimonious. Sanctimonious. Giving the impression that you feel you are better and more moral than other people. I wish she'd stop being so sanctimonious. Plaintiff. Plaintiff. A plaintiff is a person who brings a legal case against someone in a court of law. The court upheld the plaintiff's claim for damages. 
Platitude. Platitude. A platitude is a comment or statement that has been made very often before and is therefore not interesting. It's no more than a platitude. Plethora. Plethora. Plethora means an abundance or excess of something. He has a plethora of styles in his designs. Plight. Plight. A plight is a difficult and sad situation. The nation saw the plight of the farmers, whose crops had died. Potent. Potent. Something that is potent is very effective and powerful. Their most potent weapon was the Exocet missile. Potentate. Potentate. A potentate is a ruler who has complete power over his people. He is a past potentate of the Midian Shrine Temple and knows just about everybody in town. Potpourri. Potpourri. A potpourri of things is a collection of various different items which were not originally intended to form a group. This provides a potpourri of information. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. Pragmatic is to describe a person or a solution that takes a realistic approach. Robin took a pragmatic look at her situation. Precedent. Precedent. A precedent is something that sets a standard for future events. The trial could set an important precedent for dealing with similar cases. Precipitate. Precipitate. To precipitate means to make something, especially something bad, happen suddenly or sooner than it should. I don't think we should make precipitate decisions. Preclude. Preclude. To preclude something is to prevent it from happening. That will preclude him from escaping. Precocious. Precocious. A precocious child is very clever, mature, or good at something, often in a way that you usually only expect to find in an adult. Margaret was always a precocious child. Prelude. Prelude. This is an action or event that happens before another more important one and forms an introduction to it. For him, reading was a necessary prelude to sleep. Premonition. Premonition. If you have a premonition, you have a feeling that something is going to happen, often something unpleasant. He had an unshakable premonition that he would die. Prerogative. Prerogative. A prerogative is someone's special right or privilege. In many countries, education is still the prerogative of the rich. Prestigious. Prestigious. A prestigious institution, job, or activity is respected and admired by people. High scores on the GRE helped explain who got in, degrees of prestigious universities didn't. Pretext. Pretext. A pretext is a reason that you pretend has caused you to do something. He left the party early on the pretext of having to work. Prevarication. Prevarication. Prevarication is when someone tells a lie, especially in a sneaky way. The report was full of lies and prevarications. Privation. Privation. If you're lacking the basic necessities of life food, water, political freedom, and so on. You're suffering from privation. They endured five years of privation during the World War II. Procrastinate. Procrastinate. To procrastinate means to delay doing something that you should do, usually because you do not want to do it. People were dying of starvation while governments procrastinated. Prodigious. Prodigious. Something that is prodigious is very large or impressive. A blizzard includes prodigious wind and snow. Prodigy. Prodigy. A prodigy is someone young who has a great natural ability for something such as music, mathematics, or sports. Mozart was a prodigy, writing symphonies and playing for kings when he was only five years old. 
Proffer. Proffer. To proffer means to offer something to somebody by holding it out to them. What advice would you proffer to someone starting up in business? Profligate. Profligate. Someone who is profligate uses too much money, time, materials, etc. in a careless way. Human is the most profligate consumer of energy in the world. Profuse. Profuse. Profuse is a word for a lot of something or even way too much. When a foreign object enters the eye, profuse tearing results. Progeny. Progeny. Progeny means offspring or children. He was surrounded by his numerous progeny. Prognosticate. Prognosticate. To prognosticate means to predict according to present signs or indications. Unfortunately, I am not able to prognosticate how everything will eventually shake out. Prolific. Prolific. Someone or something that is prolific is fruitful or highly productive. She is a prolific writer of novels and short stories. Promulgate. Promulgate. If people promulgate a new law or a new idea, they make it widely known. A new constitution was promulgated last month. Propagate. Propagate. To propagate is to be fruitful and multiply, by the usual roots of reproduction. The easiest way to propagate a vine is to take hardwood cuttings. Propensity. Propensity. A propensity is a natural tendency to behave in a certain way. Mr. Bent has a propensity to put off decisions to the last minute. Propinquity. Propinquity. A propinquity, a word meaning proximity or physical closeness. The propinquity of Ellie and Elisa's smile proves that they are related. Propitious. Propitious. If something is propitious, it is likely to lead to success. It was not a propitious time to start a new business. Propriety. Propriety. Propriety is the quality of being socially or morally acceptable. This country has always been known as a land of propriety and righteousness. Prudent. Prudent. Someone who is prudent is sensible and careful. It might be more prudent to get a second opinion before going ahead. Pugnacious. Pugnacious. Someone who is pugnacious is always ready to argue or start a fight. The president was in a pugnacious mood when he spoke to journalists about the rebellion. Puissant. Puissant. Puissant means powerful and in possession of authority. The young man has a puissant body. Pungent. Pungent. Something that is pungent has a strong, sharp smell or taste which is often so strong that it is unpleasant. Nearby was a factory that exuded a pungent smell. Puny, puny. Someone or something that is puny is very small or weak. They laughed at my puny efforts. Qualm. Qualm. A qualm is a feeling of doubt or worry about whether what you are doing is right. He had been working very hard so he had no qualms about taking a few days off. Quandary. Quandary. If you are in a quandary, you have to make a decision but cannot decide what to do. George was in a quandary should he go or shouldn't he? Quarry. Quarry. A quarry is a prey or a place where large amounts of stone, etc. are dug out of the ground. The hunters lost sight of their quarry in the forest. Quell. Quell. To quell means to stop something such as violent behavior, protests, or strong, unpleasant feelings. The government is trying to quell the rebellion. Quip. Quip. A quip is a remark that is intended to be amusing or clever. The commentators make endless quips about the player's appearance. Rabid. Rabid. 
It means to have very strong feelings about something and acting unacceptably or suffering from rabies. Rabid animals on the loose frequent our TVs and news feed. Raconteur. Raconteur. A raconteur is someone, usually a man, who can tell stories in an interesting or amusing way. He spoke eight languages and was a noted raconteur. Raiment. Raiment. Raiment is an old-fashioned word for clothing, particularly fancy clothing. These ladies always wore their best raiment when calling on friends. Rampant. Rampant. Rampant means very common and increasing in an uncontrolled way such as crime, disease, weed, etc. The country is an example of chronic unemployment and rampant crime. Raucous. Raucous. A raucous sound is loud, harsh, and rather unpleasant. They heard a bottle being smashed, then more raucous laughter. Raise. Raise. To raise means to completely destroy so that nothing is left. Dozens of villages have been raised. Rebuke. Rebuke. If you receive a rebuke, it means that you have been reprimanded or scolded. I would not judge nor rebuke them. Recant. Recant. If you recant, you say publicly that you no longer hold a set of beliefs that you had in the past. Editorials would demand that he either recant or retire from public life. Recoil. Recoil. A recoil is a movement backwards, usually from some force or impact. For a moment I thought he was going to kiss me. I recoiled in horror. Recondite. Recondite. A recondite something is difficult to understand, and not many people know about it. His presentation about spaceship structure is so recondite. 